Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video and in this video I'm going to be updating you guys on some of the new information we have regarding some PvP changes that are occurring with patch 5.2 the war for Iocath. Uh, now I, I did uh, talk about earlier that I was hoping this new expansion would maybe include a new war zone or a new war zone map or something along those lines. It does look like that is not the direction Bioware decided to go in. Rather, we're having basically a revitalization of open world PvP. So similar to like Ilum, if you remember that back in the day, what Bioware wants to do is try to promote and encourage open world PvP on Iocath and make that just this one planet where if you wanted to experience open world PvP, you can go there and experience it. And so here are the ways Bioware is trying to do it. So the first thing to keep in mind is Iocath is bringing a new daily area and Bioware has designed the missions so that it kind of forces you to come in contact with other people. So regardless of whether you ally yourselves with the Republic or the Empire, you're going to come in contact one way or another via the daily missions and that is by itself going to encourage some open world PvP. However, there are some elements of this PvP that makes it distinct to Iocath. The first one being you are going to have a chance to have some more improved gameplay mechanics along the lines of using a walker or some other sort of machine. Uh, they use the specific example of a walker so far and the way it works is there's going to be a vendor on Iocath and that vendor is going to give you basically a walker or some type of token which allows you to maybe use a walker for one time or a certain length of time or something along those lines. And that vendor is going to require a certain amount of currency. These are going to be like Iocast tokens. And those tokens you can earn probably via the daily missions, but also by killing another player and looting them. Uh, one important thing to note is when you loot a player, it doesn't take away from their stash of tokens. You just get new tokens. And so killing people is obviously one way by which you can get this new currency and then buy stuff from that vendor, such as an opportunity to get a walker and then probably unleash a lot of devastation and damage on some players. Now I mentioned earlier about factions, it's important to note that it doesn't matter whether you were originally Empire or Republic. Uh, your faction on Iocath will depend on who you decide to ally with. So they use the example of a trooper who is allied with the Republic might potentially fight a Jedi Knight who is allied with the Empire. So it doesn't matter what your original faction was, what matters are the choices you make on Iocath. And so that's basically going to allow for Sith and Jedi or, you know, Republic and Imperial characters to basically team up and go and attack people from an opposite faction. So it's very story oriented in that way. I think this is very cool. I definitely am going to enjoy this because I know at least on the Harbinger server, there are a lot more Empire players than Republic players players and so it's going to be awesome now to see that uh, it's based upon who you decide to ally with rather than uh, who you were originally. However, which side you choose to ally with that only affects uh, your, what happens on Iocath not outside so it doesn't mean that you can now PvP each other on Tatooine as well it's only on Iocath. So those are some of the new updates we have right now. They're probably going to be, the devs are probably going to show off what some of this looks like in their new live stream that they're going to do before patch 5.2 hits. So it's going to be interesting to see how the PvP and specifically the walkers uh, are going to work out actually on Iocath. Because one of the issues with Ilum that happened with the open world PvP way back many years ago was that the engine just couldn't handle it. So I really hope they've updated their engine and you know we're not going to have those types of frame rate issues arise when people are trying to open world PvP on Iocath. Because I do see a lot of people doing it and I definitely will be participating in that as well. It sounds like a ton of fun and we haven't had open world PvP in this game for a very long time. Anyways, I do hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are excited about these new changes. As always, let me know what you guys think in the comment section, and I'll see you guys in the next one.